Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Film Scene. This week I'll be reviewing The Fly by Kurt Newman, which was made in 1958. Um, so I just thought I would do a horror series for you guys because it's October and Halloween's coming up soon and the horror genre is not something that I'm familiar with so I just thought I would delve in and see what it's all about. So yeah, um, in this film we have three main characters. We have Andre, who is a scientist. We have Helen, which, who is his wife, and then we have Francois, who is Andre's brother. Um, so we start off the film with a bit of background. We have Helen, who's explaining to the investigators about her husband and that she had to kill him. And this is, as we will discover later, um, because he was experimenting with teleportation. And while he was doing his experiment, um, there was a mishap and a fly got into the device, which caused him to have both fly and human parts. Um, so that's kind of like the, the background of the film that we have when we, when we first go into it. And I will start with my likes and then I will talk about my dislikes. I only had one because I really liked this film actually. I really enjoyed the acting in this film actually, which I was surprised because in the 1950s, you know, it's very easy for the acting to become cheesy or overdone, but that's not at all how I felt about this film. Um, I felt like Helen and Andre's relationship played out really well, and it was clear to see how much they cared about each other. But that being said, it was also very easy to see how her love for him changed once she realized that he wasn't a creature, an animal, he wasn't her husband anymore. Um, so when that happened, when she saw his head and his, his claw, it all became very apparent that she would no longer feel the same way about him, and I feel like that was a very, a very powerful scene. And that being said, there was also this human versus animal um, element to the story as well. Um, there's this question of, is human life more important than an animal's life, and if so, where is that divide? Um, I thought that was like the overarching question of this film, um, because we have Andre, who, as I said, is a fly and a human, and then at the end we see the fly caught in the web with the with the human head. So that's kind of like the bookend of of this film. And I think I think this is a, an important part of the film because. At the end, when Francois and the detective are outside and they see um, the Andre fly um, combo, I guess we'll say, um, in the spider's web, on, uh, Francois says, You killed a fly with a human head, and she killed a human with a fly head, so you're both murderers. And I think that is just kind of reiterating the idea of, as I said, human versus animal, but more than that, I feel like Francois establishes that there is no difference, that murder is murder, a metaphor human or an animal, and I think that was sort of the the conclusion of this film. Aside from that is also the technology end, end of things, um, because in the beginning when Andre is explaining to Helen the technology of the teleportation device. Um, he's, he's explaining that now we have TV and radio and my experiment is no different than those technologies that are now a part of our everyday lives. That was like this kind of setup for how far he wanted to push and how far he thought he could go with this experimentation and his sort of hubris as a scientist. You know, how far can you push technology until you're just playing with a lot of different elements that you shouldn't be messing with in the first place. Those are the, the two main themes that I felt the film was about and I liked those two bigger questions within this horror genre because coming into it I was you know being very I was being very judgmental and I just thought I was gonna see a bunch of gore and a bunch of people running around and not a whole lot of substance because that's that's how I imagined a lot of horror films to be you know just just for the sense of scaring and you know but I didn't realize how how there can be bigger questions woven within the narrative of a horror film so I really enjoyed those are my likes for the film essentially those those two big questions and me realizing that a horror film can be more than just the gore oh, that rhymed. okay 
Um, so my dislikes, I only had one as I said before, and my main dislike was at the point in the film when Helen is still trying to convince Andre to talk to other scientists and other colleagues to try to help him figure out the, the situation that he's in, and he kept saying that he didn't want any outside help. And, and that never really was rectified within the film. I didn't understand why he didn't want anyone else to help him. Um, and I feel like that could have either made the film more rich or it could have maybe introducing that into the film would have just ended it because maybe the scientists could have helped him figure it out and then the film would be over. So I guess that could be you know another, another side of it. Um, but they kept bringing it up, so I thought that there would be a resolution to this this question of um, his colleagues helping him, but that was never answered. So that was my only dislike that I had really for the film. Um, but besides that, I think this was a really good introduction to the horror genre because it's a classic and I feel like it wasn't too scary and it wasn't too gory and it was a nice mellow stepping stone, we'll say. Um, so yeah, I really liked it and I will be doing three more as I said. Um, for this this horror series. So just stay tuned for those and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!